this video, we're going to talk to you about the Chandler 5901. This particular machine does not need electricity. It's a manual industrial button sewing machine used in a wide variety of different types of applications. I know dry cleaners use them a lot, drapery shops, because not only can you do buttons, two hole and the four hole uh, types of buttons, you can also do just a cuff tack like on a suit or a pair of dress slacks or skirt with this particular machine. It does several different sizes of buttons and we can adjust that very easily on the machine. The machine is very easy to thread. Uh, we have just a couple of guides here. We go through our tension, through the second tension. There's guides right along the way to our needle and it does thread front to back. There is a looper here that will engage once we start using the machine. This is not like a serger. We don't have to thread the looper. This particular knob here will allow me to raise and lower the foot and then I can open up the foot for this type of button that I'm you know, working with. There's some easy controls on this particular machine we're just going to briefly point out. Here's where I get my needle clearance. So if I'm working with a four hole button or a two hole button, I can get the spacing correct for the type of button that I'm working with. This lever here raises and lower. The, I guess you can say the pressure foot or what's holding on to my button and this will start to engage the machine. Here's my hand wheel that I'll crank that will do the button. And then you select over here whether I'm doing a two hole or a four hole uh, type of button. So let's show you how this machine works. I want to give you just a brief overview of what all the controls are on this machine. This machine is very easy. There's not a lot of controls that you've got to change. This changes my clearance on the holes of the button, so where my needle will come down. So you get the holes lined up for the button that you're working with. This will raise and lower what's grabbing the hold to the button. And then I can use this lever right here to open it up to get the clearance set. So I can place my button where I need to. And then once I get it, all I need is just to securely hold it down. Then I'll lower this back down and I'm ready to get this set for this particular button. During an application like this, you're going to be sewing the same button on over and over and over. So once you get it set for this particular size button and the spacing, you can just continue on and sew buttons on till you need to change it. It's very easy to go back and forth. So you want to make sure the machine is set for a four hole uh, button. That's what I've got here and that's what we recommend that you use. If you're using two hole buttons, just keep in mind that you may not need to do as many stitches because it will bog the machine down and it fills up your button with thread. It's going to make it very hard to put that button on when your user is trying to put the garment on. And we can easily just lock that down. So what I do here is I engage my machine and make sure I move my blue level over so I can the machine will come down. And look here, I got this one that actually spaced perfectly and I just go back and forth just at a constant rate of speed and it finished doing that. Now I'm ready to raise it up. The red lever here will raise and lower up the attachment. So then I can place the garment underneath and you might want to use like a evaporating pen or chalk pencil or something like that to mark the exact place where you want the button at. And then I lower that down and I'm able to turn this dial here to open it up and just place the button that I'm working with right here. Raise that back up so it'll engage. Raise it up so it engages. Here I can do a little bit of adjustment if I need to turn the button where I want it so our buttonholes will line up to the needle. Now it's securely going to hold the button in place. And then all I'm doing now, I'm ready to engage the machine with a blue lever. And I've attached the button. Ken Sewing Center provides product support and help on the operation of the Chandler CM591. We carry all the parts and accessories for the machine and can help you with the operation of the machine. Feel free to give us a call for any of your semi-commercial or commercial needs. We'll be glad to help you anytime.